What's going on YouTube? John from JohnTheMarker.com here, back here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you something really cool with ManyChat and how you can actually get people to um, comment on your ad or on your post and then get an auto response using ManyChat. I actually had a video talking about this previously, but ManyChat kind of did some things, so I'm going to talk about that in a, in a minute. Uh, but before we get into that, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Um, I'm always posting new content, so definitely subscribe and hit the alert button. And as you watch this, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below so I can interact with you guys. I love talking to you guys, and I would love for your comments. So um, the reason why I want to actually make this video is because I thought about making a mini mini chat course, and I said, why not actually just film the process on YouTube itself and then you know kind of give it to you guys for free. Um, I'll kind of go over some basic things, some basic things that I use and some um, key metrics, some key ideas that you want to kind of implement yourself so that you can kind of continue to grow your main chat bot, okay? So today what we're talking about is something that I've been using um, pretty frequently, um, but more not so much recently, but more so in the past when I used to dropship um, and also when I uh, did some webinar ads. I, I was using this growth tool, which is basically a growth tool. Basically, in ManyChat is basically a way to connect with an audience via different medium. So there's different type of growth tools. So if you were to log into ManyChat and you go to growth tools and you go to new growth tool, you can see that there's all different types of growth tools here. And I will be talking about different ones that I use um, in the next couple couple of days. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about this one, which is in beta, the Facebook comments. So this is something that was available to the public previously. It was it was literally into one of these sections. Um, and now I believe that they're putting it in beta because there were some issues with it. And since Facebook changed their um, changed their privacy policy and their terms of service, um, ManyChat kind of has to adjust with that. Um, and this is probably one of those things. So it's in beta right now, but it works the same way. So basically what you would want to do, and this is really, really powerful if you're trying to kind of uh, give people a giveaway, uh, a coupon, um, getting people to um, get a, a free something, like a free a, a free PDF or anything like that. This is a really cool way to kind of grow your bot um, subscriber simultaneously with also interacting with people automatically without you having to do anything. So basically what you would want to do is select a Facebook post from a page um, so what we can do, this is our actual page here. Uh, so we would select the post. So for example, if we were to select this one, um, this is the post, and then we would confirm that this doesn't have any explicit uh, content. And then track first level comments only is basically only tracking the first person that replies, not the reply. So for example, if I were to comment and tag my friend and my friend replies, it's not gonna, that's a secondary comment. Um, the, the once the friend replies, that's a secondary comment. So this would only track the first level. You kind of want to make sure that you're doing secondary level as well, just because I find that that will increase people subscribing to your bot. So for example, if someone uh, com comments and tags their friend and their friend replies, you, that but our bot will then reply back to the friend as well, which is kind of hitting two stones um, or hit, hitting two birds with one stone <laughs> because you don't have to kind of pay to get that person that replied, if that makes sense. Um, so what's going to happen is you leave that off and then it will do first level and secondary level. And then what's going to happen is when someone leaves a comment, you're going to send this message immediately. You can also change it to seconds or minutes. Um, you can also exclude comments with these keywords or trigger comments with these keywords. I leave it blank pretty much. Um, and then what you want to do is click on next. And then um, from there, you're going to uh, message the commenters. So from here, you can actually form your message. And what I like to do to get people into my bot um, is to actually say reply with a, a keyword, right? So like say, hey, full name, are you looking for the coupon that you saw in the ad? Or are you looking for the coupon? Reply with, I don't know, uh, whatever the coupon is. So for example, if I'm giving a Black Friday coupon, I guess I can say, uh, respond with the keyword BF18, right? And whenever someone responds with BF18, it's going to um, automatically get them into our bot and then send them a message. So I'm gonna so show you how to do that. So we can say, hey, full name, um, looking for the coupon, respond to this message with BF18, right? So as soon as they respond, we're going to send them another message and that's a second part that I'm going to show you in a second. So we're going to click on next and then we're going to not send them an opt-in message, okay? So we're going to click save and activate and then this will activate the widget. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our um, automation and we're going to go to keywords. So we're going to click on new rule 
and what this is going to do is basically when someone whenever someone um, types in this particular keyword or uh, series of keywords into our message or a reply it's going to send send them this message so for example if we type in bf18 we can create the keyword and then we can um we can we can actually add others so we could add lowercase which is pretty uh, common so bf18 or bf18 and then we can create a new reply and then we can say something like awesome Here is your coupon, right? Boom. Click on publish, and then as soon as that person replies, the reason why we need that person to reply is because in order for them to become a subscriber of our bot, they actually need to interact with our bot outside of them commenting on our post. So to recap, this growth tool is going to basically, whenever someone comments on this particular post, uh, it's going to auto respond and send them a message say hey full name i'm looking I'm looking for the coupon and then it's going to say respond to this message with bf18 um so you can say even to get more detailed say respond to this message by typing bf18 right um and then click on save and then what we can do is actually um when they reply we would Go to make sure that our automation is set up correctly. So BF18 or BF18, and then the message is going to say, awesome, here's the coupon. And then that's going to get people into our actual sequence or into our bot. So to take this one step further, what you can do is you can um, uh, add a button here and say something like, um, click here to use the coupon, right? So this will bring them to the site that whatever site that you have, and the way you can do is add an action. It might be this might be too long, so we can say click to use coupon. Okay. And then what we can do is we can add a action that first I like to add tags for pretty much every single thing that someone does. So we can say clicked um, coupon button. Right? And then what we can do is we can add another action that will su subscribe them to a sequence. So sequences, and I'm going to talk about this later down the road, is basically a way to send them automated message. Think of it as a um, autoresponder or active campaign where you're sending them sending them into an automation, and then you're kind of sending them emails automatically without you having to do anything. It's the same exact concept. So what you're going to do is just select a sequence. So you can say, um, I don't have one set up right here, but I do have. I believe I have a follow-up right here. So this could be a follow-up sequence. So whenever someone clicks on this button, I can follow up with them, add them to the sequence, and then set up that sequence that says, you know, a day later, send them a message and say, hey, did you did you use this coupon? To kind of make sure that that person used the coupon and is actually um, spending money on our site or, you know, clicking on the download button or whatever uh, action or call to action that you have them do, this is a great way to kind of follow up with that person without you uh, actually sending out the message. It's kind of just automated. So. This is just a quick uh, way to actually engage with people who comment on your um, Facebook ads or your Facebook posts without you really having to do much. I hope this kind of gave you more of an idea of what you can do with ManyChat. I'm going to be posting more videos in regards to ManyChat and how you can use it, the different growth tools that you can use to build your business, but also build your bot subscribers so that you can message these people um, pretty much any time of the day. I mean, there are some times you don't want to message them. Like I would stick to like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You don't want to go out time, outside of that time zone because you don't want to intrude on people's um, personal spaces or their personal time. Um, so just you know keep that in mind but it is a great way to make sure that you're communicating with the people that are in your audience and making sure that they can see the messages that you have or seeing the products that you your, or services that you are providing so I hope this kind of helped like I said stay tuned for more videos about my chat I really appreciate you guys being here if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and hit that alert button thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye